Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's the 14th of June 2024. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Coming across the news today, we saw new highs again for the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq again after it just settled on the inflation number and the subsequent Fed response. We also got some soft PPI numbers, so it was a little surprising we didn't get a slightly more enthusiastic boost in markets yesterday. Uh, but we are edging higher for the fourth day in succession. Uh, the BOJ are in focus today and, and their activity with their rate decision, probably more important press conference later this afternoon may dominate sentiment, certainly in the FX world. US futures are near neutral in Asian trading. Asian equity markets are quite mixed. ASX is down about 0.3 in early trading. European futures are pointing to a flat open at this stage with a slight positive bias. The US dollar index reversed the previous day's losses and is near resistance. So technically looking interesting has been thrown all over the place for much of this week. It is again slightly positive in Asia. And of course, that's put pressure on commodities again. Gold has dropped but has held over that critical psychological 2300 level. Copper drifts down towards support and oil is holding steady with little movement since Monday's price spike again. Bitcoin moved lower and is at the bottom of the 66 to 70,000 range it's been trading in for some time. 66,600 is the key level to the downside. It's going to close beneath that. It could precipitate some selling. As we've said, the BOJ rate decision and press conference are influential. U.S. consumer sentiment and long-term inflation expectations number later today may also impact on short-term sentiment. A couple of charts that core our eye today. We're starting in the ASX and NXT, which were our chart of the day yesterday. Uh, looks as though it's holding yesterday's move above key level of 1810. We see significant upside in a company that keeps on reporting positive corporate news. So both fundamentally and technically look strong on worth tracking to see where this closes the week. We're looking at the US yen on the 30 minute chart today. And you can see once again, we failed to breach this hour one level at 157.34. Looks as though we're bouncing to the downside of this. So these two key levels feel really important today. If we just take it out a little bit, perhaps put it on the hourly chart. Uh, you can see how many times it's bounced off this level over the last couple of days and even uh, so at this stage these are the two levels to keep an eye on if we breach to the upside precipitate some buying if we breach the pivot level from yesterday uh, around about that 157 level that could encourage the sellers to come in and probably push it down to 156.60 either way be careful with anything that's a yen cross today and trading stops may be prudent in light of the events coming later. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.